good morning friends we have already discussed about the basic principle and the details construction of alternator now we are going to discuss about speed frequency relationship of alternator for this we have to take an example let the rotor is rotating in clockwise direction consider the armature conductor marked x situated at the center of n pole the conductor being situated at the maximum flux density position as it is under n pole will have maximum emf induced in it the direction of induced emf is given by fleming's right hand rule we know that in fleming's right hand rule thumb indicates the direction of the rotation of conductor and the index finger indicates the direction of the field and we know that outside a magnet the field starts from n pole and finishes at s pole and middle finger indicates the direction of induced emf but while applying this rule one should careful to note that thumb indicates the direction of the rotation of the motion direction of the motion of the conductor relative to the field to an observer stationed on a clockwise revolving pole the conductor would seem to be rotating anti clockwise but the thumb should be pointed to the left okay thumb should be pointed to the left now if we put the direction of the field by index finger the middle finger indicates the direction of the induced emf the direction of the induced emf is downward in the direction right angle to the paper when the conductor is an in interpolar gap that is at a hmm. it has minimum emf induced in it because the flux density is minimum there but it is when it is at a center of s pole according to fleming's right hand rule the induced emf will be maximum but in opposite direction obviously one cycle of emf is produced when one pair of pole pass over it in other word emf in a armature conductor goes through one cycle in angular distance equal to twice the pole pitch in the previous slide we have already discussed that one cycle of emf is produced when a pair of pole is passed by a conductor so number of cycles of emf produced in one revolution of the rotor is equal to number of pair of poles so if we multiply number of cycles per revolution that is p by 2 that is pair of pole and with the number of revolution per second that is n by 60 then we get that number of cycles per second uh, we know the number of cycles per second is nothing but frequency so frequency equal to number of cycles per revolution multiplied by number of revolution per second that is pn by 20 a equal to pn by 120 hertz this is the relationship between the speed and the frequency when the number is a pole is 2 and frequency is 50 then what will be the speed 3000 and that is the highest speed in india now we are going to discuss about single layer welding it is variously referred to as concentric or chain welding let's take an example there are 12 slot in the figure as there are four pole therefore three slot per pole and there are four pole and three face therefore one slot per pole and per face now pole pitch is the di distance between two pole that is three slot per pole as a result this pole pitch is obviously three slot and one pole pitch equal to 180 degree electrical to get maximum emf two side of the coil should be placed one pole pitch apart that coil span should be equal to one pole pitch in other word if one side of the coil is under n pole then the other side of the same coil will be under s pole that is 180 degree electrical apart that is this one is one pole pitch 
H to N. In that case, the induced EMF of the two coil side are added together. It is seen from the figure that R phase is start from slot number one as three pole three slot equal to one pole pitch and for maximum EMF two side of the coil will be stay one pole pitch apart then it will go through four then it will go through seven that is 180 degree electrical then it finishes at slot number 10 similarly Y phase is start from 120 degree apart from R phase as three slot equal to 180 degree two slot will be 120 degree that is Y phase start will from three it goes through six again it goes through 180 degree electrical 180 degree electrical that is nine and it finishes at 12 now at blue phase will be start 120 degree electrical from Y phase that is start from slot number five it goes through slot number eight 180 degree electrical that is it goes to slot number 11 and it finishes at slot number 2 so this was a single layer winding this winding is either wave wound type or lap wound type this being much more common specially for high speed turbo generator it is simplest as said above most commonly used not only in synchronous machine but in induction motor as well. Two important points regarding this winding to be noted. Ordinarily, the number of slot in the stator is a multiple of the number of poles and the number of phase. Thus, the stator of four pole three phase alternator may have 12, 24, 36, 48 slot, all of which seem to be multiple of 12, four cross three. The number of stator slot is equal to the number of the coils which are all of same shape in other word each slot contains two coil side one at the bottoms of the slot and the other at the top the coil overlap each other just like a single ceiling of rooftop for the four pole 24 machine as shown in the figure the pole pitch is 24 by 4 that is 6 for maximum voltage the coil should be full pitched it means that if one side of the coil is in slot 1, the other side should be on in slot 7. Thus two slot 1 and 7 being one pole pitch apart or 180 degree electrical apart. To make matter simple, coil have to be leveled 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. In the developed diagram in the figure, the coil's number is the number of the slot in which the left hand side of the coil is placed. Each of these phase has 24 by 3 that is 8 coil. This being so selected as to give maximum voltage when connected in series. When connection connected for well coil 1, 7, 13 and 19 will be added directly in phase. Hence we get 4 coils for this phase. To complete 8 coil for this phase, the other 4 selected are 2, 8, 14, 20 each of which at an angular displacement 30 degree electrical from the adjacent coil of the first. The coil 1 and 2 of this phase are said to be constitute a polar group which is defined as a group of coil per phase per pole. Other polar group of this phase are 7 and 8, 13 and 14, 19 and 20 etc. After the coil placed in the slot, the polar group are joined. These groups are connected together with alternator poles reversed, which shows winding for one phase only. Now we are going to discuss about short pitch winding, pitch factor and winding factor. Let an example that alternator has 24 slot and 4 poles, therefore 6 slot per pole. Pole pitch equal to 6 slot. Therefore, if a coil start from slot number 1, it will be finished at slot number 7 for a full pitch coil. That is 180 degree electrical. We have this. When the coil slides are placed at 1 and 6, it is solder pitch coil or functional fractional pitch coil. The coil span is 
5 6 of the pole pitch it falls short by 1 6 of pole pitch that is 30 degree electrical short pitch coil are deliberately used for the following advantage it saves copper as the material of copper for the wear is requiring less distorting harmonic can be reduced waveform can be improved due to the elimination of high frequency harmonic hysteresis loss ad current loss also reduced now pitch factor or coil span factor kp or kc is defined as the ratio of the vector sum of the induced emf per coil divided by arithmetic sum of the induced emf of the coil and it is always less than unity let es be the induced emf in each side of the coil if the coil is full pitched as described in the previous slide that two side of the coil are placed in one and seven number of slot each has two side one pole pitch apart total emf induced will be 2 es and as described in the previous slide if the so if the uh, stator coil is short pitched by 30 degree then resultant emf equal to 2 es cos 30 by 2 that is cos 15 degree so kc will be 2 es cos 15 degree by 2 es that is point cos 15 degree in general if the coil span fall short by full pitch and angle alpha then kc equal to cos alpha by 2 that is pitch factor or winding factor now we are going to do a numerical on pitch factor or coil span factor it is given that there are 36 stator slot 4 pole and coil span is 1 to 8 as there is 36 slot and 4 pole 36 by 4 that is 9 slot per pole coils for a full pitch coil the coil span is 9 slot that is if a coil start at slot number 1 it will be finished at 10 but the short pitch coil the span is 1 to 8 that is 7 so 7 minus 9 2 slot it is short pitched so the alpha equal to 2 by 9 into 180 that is 40 degree now the pitch factor is cos 40 by 2 that is 0.94 for 72 set stator slot 6 full and coil span 1 to 10 76 by 2 that is 12 so for a full pitched coil the coil span will be 12 that is if a coil start from coil num start coil starts slot number 1 it will finish at slot number 13 but here it is given that 1 to 10 that is coil span is 9 9 minus 12 12 minus 9 that is it is sort by 3 pole 3 slot it is sort by 3 slot so alpha is 3 by 12 into 180 degree that is 45 degree kc equal to cos 45 by 2 that is 0.2924 now for 96 stator slot and 6 pole and coil span is 1 to 12 96 by 6 that is 16 sorry for a full pitch coil the coil span will be 16 slot that is if a coil start from coil number slot number 1 it will finish at slot number 17 but it is given that the coil span is 1 to 12 that is it is 11 so coil is short pitched by 16 minus 11 that is 5 slot so alpha equal to 5 by 16 into 180 that is 56 degree 16 minute and kc that is pitch factor but coil span factor equal to cos 56 degree 16 minute divided by 2 that is 0.8282